morning, everyone. Happy Monday. Today is April, what is it, 21st? I don't even know what day it is. Today is April 22nd, and I just walked in the door, literally just now, and it's like a breath of fresh air. So I came in on Friday, and I removed some of my desks from my classroom, and then I put some of my tables back in here, and I walked in this morning, and it was like a breath of fresh air because it was like not crowded. I feel like it's clean. Hang on. Sorry about that guys, I had a knock at the door. Someone needed the computer cart. So anyway, I'm gonna show you guys what I did. I still have a lot of work to do this morning. So I'm gonna really quickly just make sure that I have everything prepared for the day for my kids and then organize and clean because I do have a lot of stuff that's still out that I need to put away. But basically, when you walk in the door, over here you have the bench and then two short tables. These are not gonna be used for my assigned seats because I am going to assign my kids seats for now just because they need to ease back into the tables. And then um, in the back we have the three circular tables. I do have the legs for this one so I am gonna be pushing this one up um, so that kids can sit at it with chairs because a lot of my kids complained a lot when they were sitting on the floor. So, and I'm asking about legs for this one. I was gonna try to take legs off of the one of the desks before I left, but I didn't have the tool to take it off. So I'm gonna ask my janitor if I could steal four legs <laughs> for this table and just have everybody up off the floor and in a chair because they did complain a lot about sitting on the floor. So I just wanna avoid that. And then as you guys saw this last week, this is a project for me to do today to just organize this and just move some things around in my bins and bring everything that's like kind of my desk stuff and put back in this little guy. But yeah, I'm gonna spend some time in here this morning getting things situated. Also wanted to talk to you guys about my glasses this morning. These are different than you normally see me wearing. These are new, they're from iBuyDirect. They are in the style Myrtle, like Myrtle Beach, and you can't really tell, but they're kind of like a dark plum color, which I really like, and I like how they're a lot bigger than my Ray-Bans. I have a big face, so I like big glasses. I don't, I don't know why. But anyway, um, there is a 10% off coupon down in my description um, for glasses at iBuyDirect. If you use the code, you get $10 off. 10%, no, $10 off. These were 30 bucks, so if you use my code and you want these glasses, you can get them for $20. And if your eyesight is better than mine, which I'm sure it is, your frames will, or your lenses will be a lot cheaper. I think these frames were $15. So anyway, I'm gonna get started here and hopefully see you guys in a bit. Good afternoon, friends. So as you can see, my hair has slowly made it to the top of my head. Today has been awesome. The kids have been so great. They've been so excited about their new seating and as you can see all the book bins are out and we're in full swing um we're getting used to having flexible seating again but we're not really flexible because again they are assigned a seat i did get a hold of my janitor and she found the legs and the screws for this table and then she is looking for legs and screws for this table. This one is a little bit different than that one, so it might be harder. However, I told her it's okay if you can't find them. This will be the only floor um, table available, and I have like five girls that are super happy to be on the floor, so they will just sit there. So that's pretty exciting. I am, I see my girls peeking in on me. I see you, go play. I have two girls that are creeping outside the door. So I still have a lot of work to do. I need to like clean and organize this thing. But other than that, I got pretty cleaned up. I did manage to organize my desk. And it's still a little bit messy, but it's manageable. So I'm trying to update my calendar on my iPad. Because I have a few events coming up that are princess related. And I need to remember when those are so I can make sure that I have childcare. But I was just looking at what we're gonna do tomorrow and I'm thinking we're gonna do some problem solving. But I wanted to do this in a different manner than just here's a problem, go solve it. There's a, an awesome game that I learned at Get Your Teach On and I need to find the name of the game, Giant Tic-Tac-Toe. And this was a Wade King and Chris Pombano um, game and it's called uh, giant tic-tac-toe and I think this is the one where you put Vaseline on the kids noses 
they run up to the front of the room and pick up a strip which is a problem then they solve the problem and they have to run back to their desk their de their teammates solve the problem and then if their team gets it right they run up and do the giant tic-tac-toe so i think i'm going to do that and i just found the problems on commoncoresheets.com and it comes with 12 questions so i think i'm just going to cut the questions into strips and then like i said do the giant tic-tac-toe game so that is ready for tomorrow. And then I also found some task cards that I can have them do if they cannot handle the problem solving game. Good morning everyone, happy Tuesday. It is 23rd and the kids are at PE. Um, I wanted to check in with you guys to show you my other new pair of glasses. These are the Brittany style and if you guys are interested I believe the links will be down in the description below for the exact uh, styles that I have I tried making them in my upload defaults and if it didn't work then check out the community tab in my channel like the main page and I did do a post with all of the links there as well so I find that that's an easy place to post links to things you guys want links to because then they stay on my channel you don't have to like scroll through all of my details in my description boxes so anyway <laughs> Today's been a very busy day. My goddaughter came in this morning to get her hair braided. I had duty So I'm just like running around a million miles a minute But I wanted to show you guys what I did this morning So I moved my black bookshelf from over there to here and I think this is where I want it to be next year I do plan on buying two shorter Bookshelves to go in this area over here because I want to have like a little library corner rather than just a bookshelf because I want my kiddos to have a fun place to read. But anyway, so I moved my bookshelf over here and when I was moving it, it was like breaking and you can see right now it's leaning. So I feel like I need to take everything off and like that is a problem. <laughs> Now it's straight, but I feel like it's just going to keep going. So I feel like I almost should take everything off of this and maybe just chuck it and get a new one. <laughs> but I was planning on using this for next year as like a my spot kind of deal instead of that bookshelf being my spot. Just kind of having all of my things in this area. Um, hopefully this won't fall, but I feel like once I take all of the books off, it won't be as wobbly um i did go through my books this morning and yesterday and i just put a bunch of them in this bin and i plan to just let the kids pick through them in these next few weeks and take some books home these are the only books that i have left and i plan on getting those put in the bookshelf right now actually I've gotten rid of an entire row of books, which is awesome. I probably could get rid of a lot more, to be honest with you, and just try to like start rebuilding this library with more modern books, which I really want to do. I have two Diary of a Wimpy Kids in here. And then I have some other books, but I feel like a lot of my books are just really dated, and so I think I want to put together a Donors Choose project to update my school library and get some really fun new fresh books for my kiddos. Also I got word that our air conditioning is down in this building, so that sucks. <laughs> but I don't really feel like it's too hot yet and we did get permission to open the door if we get too hot, which I don't know how that would help because it's hot outside. Hey guys, so it is now... What time is it? Uh, Five o'clock. 16.51. Five o'clock. And I just walked in the door about 10 minutes ago. This one 
Has my deodorant. No. No. This one's cooking dinner. Our house is a disaster, as always. Look at this. Mm-hmm. 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 Guys, that is 100% teacher mom life. It just is what it is. We don't care at this point. If we are gonna be healthy eating, workout having, doing adults, our house is just gonna be messy, huh, babe? Oh, sure, whatever you say. <laughs> so I'm gonna come in the gym and do a workout. Looks like somebody did not clean up their mess. Yeah, Cash. Mm. Cash did it. Put it down. Oh, he's following me. Justin cleans mass, I told him to. Happy Wednesday. I got here at like 7 o'clock and I'm a little bit annoyed by that because I left for work at 6. There was so much traffic, so much construction that it took me an hour to get here. So anyway, because it's Wednesday and I don't have a special today, I didn't do anything for Earth Day and I realized that way too late. I'm a little bit upset with myself that I didn't pay closer attention, but I think Easter stole my attention away and I didn't realize it was Earth Day on Monday. So my kids are gonna do a sweet little color by number craft and then I'll let them take it home. So they'll do that this morning during multiplication, math facts, fluency thing, time. Um, also, my janitor, my lovely janitor, came in and put the legs on this table. I do have legs for this table. However, I don't have the screws or the tool to put them in. And my janitor did try to find uh, legs and screws that would fit in it, but she said that something's different about this table. So I think we're just gonna leave it on the floor. Really struggle boxing, struggle, I'm really, struggle bussing through this whole not having laptops thing. We get them back hopefully Thursday, hopefully Thursday and Friday. And then Kayla and I need to sit down and make a schedule on when our classes are gonna use the computers because we both have projects that we're working on and it would be nice to have our whole classes working on computers. I also think it could work if we did half and half. So like if we had just like a two hour block of work time where our kids could be like rotating through things that they're working on, I don't know. We're gonna sit down and figure it out, but I'm gonna run up front and do some copying, come back and put the date and change the schedule. And then, I don't know, putz around and see if there's anything else that I can do with my time. Hi everyone, welcome back. Today is Friday, April 26th, and I am putting together a discussion board about behaviors. And I'm putting this one together. You can't really see it, but it looks like this. And it's from the second grade Sassy Pants on Instagram. And so I'm recreating the board and I'm filling in the post-it notes that have all of the choices and the kids are going to spend the morning doing this activity because I am tired of people making unacceptable choices in my classroom. So that is what I'm up to this morning. I um, was super naughty and I went to Dunkin' Donuts for breakfast. I know, so unhealthy. 
So I have a super important question for you guys. So next year, I really wanted to try to share more of the classroom environment throughout the school day on my vlogs. And in order to do that, I would need to, I would need to get consent from all of my parents or some of my parents to include my students in these videos because I really want to start sharing like lesson ideas, collaboration ideas, and actually physically show how they work. And I would really love to film myself teaching and not just to share here on YouTube, but to use as a reflection tool. And so I'm thinking about creating a video release and Instagram release, but I would also have to let my parents know about my YouTube channel and where I don't feel like I have anything to hide. I feel like I keep very positive about my students and I don't share personal information about them and I'm very careful. Um, but I would have to let my parents know about my channel and just explain to them like the purpose of it. I don't think any of them would really have a problem. A lot of my parents are very, um, very, um, easygoing. And so I don't know, what do you guys think? Should I involve my students and my parents in my YouTube channel next year? Or should I just continue doing what I'm doing? Keep them kind of hidden you know, I do my best to like blur them out and that's totally acceptable. Here in our district, we have an opt out rule. So the, the student actually has to opt out of being photographed or videotaped, but I still would like their permission to like physically post their face on the internet. So I feel like, I don't know, I'm just really like contemplating doing this. So what do you guys think? Should I ask for consent and share my YouTube? ventures with my students and parents next year or should I just keep it on the DL continue to vlog in the mornings and afternoons and at breaks when they're not in here comment down below what you think I should do and yeah I'm just kind of torn uh, we had staff breakfast this morning and you guys be proud of me I went up there I looked at the food I backed away I already ate a sandwich from Dunkin Donuts which was totally naughty of me and I decided not to drink the tea. I didn't get any food. I was good. Okay, I think I'm gonna end this vlog here for you guys while I am focused on ending the vlog. I hope you guys enjoyed this week and I will see you next week. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram at Apples and Tiaras. If you wanna see more daily updates of what's going on here in my classroom and in my daily life, and I will see you guys next week. Bye guys.